I'm here to ask for a little bit of help. And no, it's not about money, so you can relax, take a deep breath. I'm, I'm not asking for that right now. What I'm asking for, I think, is probably even a little more significant. I'm asking for help with your influence, with your contacts, and maybe even with a little bit of your own time and effort on this one. Did you know that there are more than 28 million people struggling with eating disorders in the United States right now? It's not just about that 28 million people, though. It's about the people they love. It's about the people who care about them. It's about the people who depend on them. You know, many of us have had the opportunity to see the impact of eating disorders on people and on their families and loved ones firsthand. I know as I travel around the country and even in different parts of the world, I've, I've had that opportunity to see it. And you wonder what you can do. You wonder how you can possibly help. And, and this is where you can. And this is where I need your help. My dear friend, Patty Gila, founder of Something for Kelly, which is a foundation dedicated to raising the awareness of and to ending the awkward silence around eating disorders, has asked me to help spread the word about a really important initiative. It's an important study, a critically important study that's going on right now. It's being conducted by EDGY, um, trying to identify the genetic markers that are associated with a, a predisposition to eating disorders. This is real science. You know, I have little patience for anything that's not grounded in fact and that's really solid and substantial. And this is one of those things. This is a real science study. It's funded by the National Institutes for Mental Health. We need to help get the word out because EDGY needs 100,000 volunteers, people who are currently struggling with an eating disorder or maybe people who have struggled with an eating disorder in their past. Um, after completing a short application online and, and going through a qualification process, people accepted into the study will be sent a simple cheek swab, nothing complicated, nothing difficult, that they'll send back to the EDGY team. It's no hassle, no cost, and it's completely confidential. Those of you who know me know that I'm all about impact, about making a real difference. And that's what matters, you know, making a positive difference in people's lives. And I know many of you feel the same. Many of you have seen that impact of eating disorders firsthand and, and others, especially those of you with teenage kids or grandkids, you know, you've seen the social and cultural factors that make it almost impossible for a kid with, with a genetic predisposition to an eating disorder avoid real trouble in their lives. And this is a rare opportunity to actually make that real difference, to do something that can actually help move the needle and to create a positive impact for people around the world. We need 100,000 qualified people to go to edgy.org. That's E-D-G-I.org. Sign up, go through a screening process, receive a test kit, do a completely painless, I promise, and confidential cheek swab and send it back. Postage paid. That's it. So if that's you, please, please help. Please go to edgy.org and sign up. Even if you haven't dealt with an eating disorder yourself personally, please share this video. You know, use your influence, use your reach, um, make, reach out to your contacts. Edgy needs people across the broadest possible spectrum, age, gender, race. We need to get a real strong picture here of what's going on. 100,000 might sound like a lot of people, but it's not. Not when you think about how that relates to 28 million people in the United States right now. You know, we can help move the needle on this one. We can make a real difference, but we need your help. Go to edgy.org right now for more information. If that's you, go to edgy.org and please sign up. Anything that you can do to help move this forward is a big plus for a lot of people. Thanks.